a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, he vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. <laughs> Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! Ah, we found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Ow! Uh, ow! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. I guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing! Ha! He'll crush the octopod! Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet! I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own! Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent! Activate tentacle suit! Twist to the side. Now down! That's it! Aha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor! Ugh, oh my, I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns and we'll be in this. <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the squid playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood, Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. Ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every 
every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Oh. Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. <laughs> too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Nick. He called. Hey, guys. I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on out there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. Three. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And now I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, bitch! Could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course! Come on, fellas! Bubble net! I'm going to perform a key act. Just swallow some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <gasps> it worked! Mickey! Sorry I gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, there's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Show yourself! Ew! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Hey? Octonauts, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonauts, continue the search. Oh. 
Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Oh, it's Cousin Irving! Inkling! Hmm, something smells good. Would you like some... Fish biscuits! Coming right up! Inkling? Cousin Irving. Are you all right? I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm just hungry. I've been looking for food all day. Ah, so that's why you grabbed the gup, eh? You thought it might be food. Um, do you have any more of those delicious fish biscuits? Captain, another basket of those excellent biscuits, please. Cousin Irving is very hungry. So, how did you find each other? Oh, I smelled those fish biscuits. A giant squid has an excellent sense of smell. Here, have another basketful. Rather. Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice. And we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. That's it! The bowhead whales! Tough enough to smash through just about anything! Good thinking, Tulip! Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again! Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs! Try it louder, Dashy! We don't have much time! Howdy, y'all! We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? Look! Morris, Norwals, everyone, get back! That's what I call a ride. <laughs> Captain Barnacles, my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Yip, 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 yip.
Good work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, t'was awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast. Then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. It wasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashy and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big, floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashy, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. 